Good afternoon, family. This is Miss Norma. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back to me. I've been <laughs> down sick for a couple of days, still a little congested, but um, feeling much better. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your comments. Amen. Um, today, our reading is coming from the little book. It's titled, um, Jesus Today. And our story is, when you trust in me, you take refuge in me. Let us pray. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you and praise your name. We want to thank you, Lord, for your constant care over each and every one of us. Continue to bless us and keep us and heal us as only thou can. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen, family. Oops. It says, when you trust in me, you take refuge in me. So trusting me is much more than a matter of your words. It is mainly a matter of your will. As you go through this day, you will encounter many things that can make you anxious, including some of your thoughts. If you don't stay alert, anxious feelings can slip into your day without your noticing them. Amen. When this happens, you may wonder why do you suddenly start to feel bad. Usually, you just ignore those feelings, or you may try to numb them with food, drink, television, gossip, or other distractions. How much better is it to catch the worry thoughts before they take hold of you? That is why I say, be on the alert. If you are, a, if you are watchful and alert, you can catch, you can choose to take refuge in me Whenever anxiety comes at you, a refuge is a place that provides protection or shelter, a safe haven. It is something you turn to for help, relief, or escape. Amen. I am eager to be your refuge. Thank you, Abba Father. And I am with you at all times. Nonetheless, you must exert your will by turning to me for help. Thus, you make me your refuge, demonstrating your trust in me. Blessed, happy to be, envied, is the one who takes refuge in me. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is 1 Peter 5 and 8 from the New Testament, and it reads, Be sober, be of sober spirit, be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Psalm 57, verse 1, the Old Testament. It says, Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Amen. Psalm 57 verse 1. You take refuge in the Lord till the calamities are passed by. Thank you, Jesus. And lastly, again, from the Old Testament, Psalm 34 verse 8. And it says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord, our God, is good. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. Amen. Amen. Whew. When you trust in me, you take refuge in me. Amen. So family, let us remember, every time that we say, I'm going to trust the Lord, what you are saying to yourself, what I'm saying to myself is that I'm going to take refuge. I'm going into my shelter. Thank you, Abba Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Lord, continue to release your blessings and bring to our remembrance 
the words and the scriptures, Lord, that you give us on a day-to-day -day basis. Amen. Blessing and healing, family. This is Miss Norma signing off, and I'll see you in a little bit. Amen. I love you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most and the greatest. Amen.